Hello and welcome to the lesson. So in this lesson, I would like us to solve a question on statistics. The question is here. The table below shows the distribution of marks of 50 students in an open air examination. Uh, so the table is there. We have the marks. Uh, the classes are given 1 to 10, 11 to 20, up to 91 to 100. A part 1, find the value of y. 2, state the model class. Then part B, Using an assumed mean of 45.5, find the mean, and then we have the table. I've prepared this table because this is what you're going to use uh, for working, the purposes of uh, saving time. That is why I've drawn it there. There is uh, part C of the question, calculate variance, that is part 1, and then part 2, the standard deviation. So those are the questions. So let's go to the first part where you're supposed to find the value of y. y is in D0 where we have the frequency. So already we have been given that the distribution is for 50 students. 50 refers to the total frequency. So total frequency, that is uh, the summation of frequency, is supposed to be 50. So that means if I add 4 plus 7 plus 6, all these, eh? 4 plus 7 plus 6 plus 6 plus y plus uh, 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, I should get 50. So it would be very easy to know the value of y. Uh, so let us add these using a calculator. So we're going to add everything here. So 4, we just uh, add 4 plus 7 plus 6 plus 6 plus y plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Everything should give us the total frequency is the number of students which is 50. So adding everything 4 plus 7 plus 6 uh, using a calculator uh, plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 you get 41. So therefore we have y plus 41 uh, is equals to 50. So therefore y will be given by 50 minus 41. And this one will give uh, the value of y as 9. So that is Simbo. the value of Simbo. y. Simbo. So we threw that. That is just one mark. Then the next question, part 2. State the model class. The model class is the class with the highest frequency. So just look at um, all these uh, classes here. Which one has the highest frequency? And when I look at these four, seven, six, uh, the one that we just calculated is the highest. Nine is the highest frequency. So therefore, the model class, the class that has the highest frequency, is forty-one to fifty. That is the model class. Part B, using an assumed mean of 45.5, find the mean, find the mean. Now the first thing you must uh, realize is how do we find the actual mean using the assumed mean. So actual mean, which is uh, going to note this one by x bar, is given by assumed mean plus the summation of fd divided by the summation of frequency. This is how we find the actual mean having been given the assumed mean. So by just look at this formula, looking at this formula, you realize that we need to have d and d is the deviation from the mean, from the assumed mean. So that is why I drew this table here because this is what you're going to use. Uh, we will have um, classes. We will have classes here. So here we will have uh, the classes, then the frequency. Then we will create another column, which we are going to call X. X is the midpoint. The midpoint. This will be the midpoint. The midpoint of the classes. Then from the midpoint, there is something else you are going to have. Uh, D. D now. D is the deviation from the mean. D is the deviation from the mean. Uh, so, we have uh, x minus 
the assumed mean. So that is how we get the deviation. The value that you get here for the midpoint, then you subtract the assumed mean. Then uh, let us uh, let me see whether we need to have uh, FD. Because when you look at this formula here, we need to have uh, FD. So FD is very important. So let me write these classes very fast. Just copy them very fast. 1 to 10, 11 to 20. Mm, write them very fast. So we have uh, 1 to 10. So 11 to 20. 21 to 30. 31 to 40. 41 to 50. 51 to 60. 61 to 70, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, then 91 to 100. You can see the classes are uniform. Then for the frequencies, the frequencies we have 476. Copy this one very fast. 4766. Then we have from there we have nine eight four three two one so x let's fill the x column for x x is the midpoint the midpoint of these classes how do you get the midpoint just take like for the first class Starting from 1 to 10, to get the midpoint, just take 1 and add to 10, you get 11. 11 divided by 2, you'll get that one as 5.5. Uh, 5. Do the same for the, the other class, 11 to 20, take 11 plus 20, that is 31. 31 divided by 2, you get 15.5. So there's something that I want you to notice, that the difference of this uh, column for x, from 5.5 .5 to... 15.5 that is a difference of 10 so since the class size is uniform for all these classes is 10 you will go adding 10 you add 10 so from 5.5 at the class size you get the other midpoint will be 15.5 so add 10 will be 25.5 add 10 the other midpoint will be 35.5 the other one will be 45.5 then 55.5 65.5, 75.5, then 95.5. You do this to save time. You need to keep on adding like this class 51 to 60. You add 51 plus 60 divided by 2. Once you notice the class size is the same and it is uniform, like this case uh, the class size is 10. Once you get the first one, 5.5, you just add the class size. That is a 10. You go adding 10, 10, 10, 10. Now, after having that, we can go to the next one. D is the deviation from uh, this X. So, we have X minus A. So, in this case, X is 5.5. .5, so, 5.5 .5 minus A. Remember, A is assumed mean, which is a 45.5. So, 5.5 .5 minus 45.5. .5. So, you get that column very fast. So 5.5 .5 minus 45.5, .5, you get negative 40. The other one is 15.5 uh, minus 45.5, .5, you get negative 30. Then 25.5 minus 45.5, .5, you get negative 20. Then the other one will be negative 10. Then this one will be 0, 55.5 uh, .5 minus 45.5, .5, this will be 10. Then 65.5 minus 45.5, .5, this one will be 20. Then this one will be 75.5 minus 45.5, uh, .5, you get 30. Then 85.5 minus 45.5, .5, you get uh, this one is a 40. Then 95.5 minus 45.5, .5, you get 50. Once you get that, now you take F, multiply by D. So we'll take this uh, column for F here. You multiply by this one, D. Like in this, the first one, 
4 multiply by negative 40. That will give a negative 160. The other one is uh, 7 multiply by negative 30. You get negative 210. The other one is 6 times negative 20, negative uh, 120. Very easy. 6 times this one will be negative 60. You go multiplying, this one will be 0. This one will be 80. This one will be 80. This one will be 90. This one will be 80. And this one will be 50. So we have everything that you require now uh, to get the actual mean. So remember our actual mean. Actual mean is going to be given by assumed mean, which is 45.5 uh, plus uh, the summation of FD will be here. The summation of FD will be here. So you have to add everything here. So add negative 160 minus uh, 210 minus uh, 120 minus uh, 60 uh, then plus 80 plus 80 again plus 90 plus 80 plus 50 you get negative 170 so you get negative 170 so this one so summation of fd will be negative 170 divided by the summation of f total frequency is 50 of the students so divide by 50 so when you work out this using a calculator 45.5 minus 170 over 50 so so 45.5 minus this is uh, 170 170 divided by 50 this will give 42.1 this one is 42.1 so that is actually Simbo. the Simbo. assumed mean uh, the actual mean using the assumed mean the actual mean is 42.1 now let's go to the other part very fast uh, the variance a variance so how do you get variance this is a formula we use to get variance so variance is obtained by this is very important for once you write down the formula you'll be able to realize that you require this column or this column so variance is obtained by the summation of fd squared by summation of f minus the summation of fd divided by the summation of frequency this one you have to square so when you look at uh, what we have here we require fd squared fd squared so we require d squared uh, so the only column that we need to add here we require d squared d squared so for d squared this is very easy so we have d here so d is here you square this negative 40 squared you'll get um 1600 yes, 1600 then this one is a 900 that is negative 30 squared negative 20 squared you get 400 this one will be 100 this is zero this is 100 this one is uh 400 this one is 900 this one is uh 1600 and this one is 25 so the other column that we need to get from this formula fd squared fd squared so we need to have uh, fd squared fd squared fd squared means what that we're going to take uh, this uh, column f multiply by d squared this column f multiply by d squared so just use a calculator to do that it will be very accurate f multiply by this so in the first one 4 multiply by 1600 4 multiply by 1600 so 4 multiply by 1600 we get 6400 get 6400 the second one is uh, 7 multiply by 900 this one is uh, 6300 then 6 multiply by 400 you get 24 106 multiply by 100 you get 600 
the 9 multiply by 0 gets 0 8 multiply by 100 this is uh, 800 4 multiply by 4 multiply by 400 you get 1600 3 multiply by 900 you get uh, 2700 2 multiply by 1600 you get that's 200 then 1 times 2500 you get 2500 then now from there we require to get the summation of fd squared summation of that column the summation of fd squared add everything that column so you have uh, 6400 plus 6300 plus uh, 2400 plus 600 plus 800 plus 1600 plus 2700 plus 3200 plus 2500 we get 26500 26500 6500 now let's go to the formula now so variance is given by summation of fd squared which is uh, 26500 divided by summation of frequency which is 50 then subtract summation of fd is already here we got it it is here so negative 170 divided by 50 then you square that so this is uh, quite straightforward so this is 26 uh 26500 divided by 26500 divided by 50 we get 513 so this one will get 530 minus uh, when you square this negative 170 or 50 that will be positive so 170 divided by 50 then you square that you get 11.56 so once you subtract this 530 minus 11.56 you'll get 518.44 so that is the variance. So that is basically how you get the variance. We just use the formula. Once you use the formula, you know the columns that you require. Be very accurate when you're adding and when you're multiplying. Standard deviation, the next last one. Standard deviation is obtained by getting the square root of the variance. So this one is very easy. So you've already got the variance as uh, 518.44. Just get the square root of that. And when you get the square root of 518.44, this one will give a 22, 22.77 as the answer. And that is basically how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you.